Welcome to another digital art tutorial by Dave Prosciutto. This is going to be a tutorial on digital coloring with Adobe Photoshop, and I colored an image that was drawn by Hilary Barta, aka the Surly Hack. Now, this dude has been in comics forever, and he's worked on anything and everything under the sun. An amazing artist, um, swell guy, super funny, and surly. And let's move to the tutorial and get started. So the first thing I needed to do was collect some reference. I found some old school science fiction retro illustrations and comic book covers, um, some space opera type stuff, and I needed to quickly build a color palette. So I liked all the colors that were happening here. I liked the greens and I liked the blues. And so a trick that I use is using the filter in Photoshop, which is filter, pixelate, mosaic. And what this does is average pixels um, and kind of merge them down into a grid and of different colors of all the pixels. And then from here, I kind of pick out ones that I feel like they speak to me and speak to the piece that I'm working on. And then from there, I go ahead and build my own and tweak it, add in some other colors for the field that I'm going for and dial it in. Now a trick for inking is I like to get inking into a solid color layer for flexibility for color. So I'll create a solid color fill layer I'll make it white, which represents the paper, and then I'll copy merged the whole inking layer, and I will create a new solid color layer and paste it into the mask and then invert it. Now this allows me to put all the inks in transparent, so the white is transparent and just the black is left as um, fill pixels. So this way I can change the color of the ink at any time to anything. So it gives me greater flexibility there. Now another cool part of this is that um, I could create another layer that can act as a clipping mask for knockouts or coloring the ink. So if you can see this here, I just grabbed a gradient and now I could just put a gradient on a new layer, but it's passing it through to the fill pixels of the ink. So you can see how it's working here. I'll just set this back to black and now I'm ready to go and start flatting. Now, as far as flatting goes, I have a different approach than some other comic colorists. What I like to do is create a solid color fill layer for each color that I'm gonna use because it gives me greater flexibility for dialing this in and for changing the colors of all the different elements. So I'll create a solid color fill layer and then I'll just paint with white in the mask and define all these different areas. And instead of using the paintbrush, I use the lasso tool quite a bit because that allows me to fill things quicker and make selections quicker. Now I sped this up a little bit to see the process just happen faster. So with the lasso tool, I go ahead and make quick selections around each different element and then I fill it in with white in the mask. So I can do this on the tentacle, on the gun, all the different elements that make up this composition and this illustration. And that way it gives me greater flexibility of coloring all these different things. Then I get into detailing and double lighting. Hillary's a big fan of double lighting, so I'm always thinking about that in the back of my head is like what's the what's happening in the bounce light, the ambient light, and the different light that is affecting the scenario and the whole scene. Now because I set these up as solid color fill layers, I could just go through and double click and tweak the color on all of them very quickly and really dial this image in. So at this point it's lasso select fill, lasso select fill, rinse and repeat, and just go through the different elements and block them out and fill them in the solid color fill layer. Now at this point, it's one of my favorite things to do, and that's rendering. And that's getting into the light and the shadow and the materials and turning this into a more polished looking piece. So I generally try to start out with shadows and then define the forms with that and then go ahead and add in the light and the reflection and the materials. When I'm doing this, I'm always considering value, depth, again, the double lighting and the form. Again, how the scene is being driven by the light and the ambient, where the light sources are coming from, where shadows are being casted, and the types of materials that these are. Now here's a breakdown of the colors from the background to the foreground. So we have the background, we have the girl, we have the aliens, and then we have the background alien who's attacking with the tentacles and the robot, which was super cool. Um, and then the inks on top of it. Now from here, I do some finishing touches of adjustment layers in Photoshop to do color correction 
and to really dial this image in to nail the style that I was looking for. So I wanted kind of dark, kind of ominous, getting those blues and greens in it to really achieve the final look and the style that I was going for. Thanks again to Hilary Barta for letting me color this image. It ended up being really fun to work on and I thought it turned out to be a pretty good looking piece. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us some thumbs up and a subscribe. Thank you.